I have a new gift from Hippo Hands. So I'm gonna throw these on the bike, try them out for the next month and get back to you. Now let's talk about U-turns. U-turns are really an undervalued or underappreciated skill set for the adventure rider. When you're making a U-turn in a slippery environment, you put your feet down and there's no traction there and that bike tips over, that's a big deal. Not only that, but if you look good doing U-turns, you just look good as a rider. So there's two different environments that we have to pay attention to when we're doing U-turns. One is a high traction environment and one is a low traction environment. So for high traction, we're talking about impacted or locked in gravel surfaces or asphalt or hard packed dry dirt. For low traction, we're gonna be thinking about mud, slippery slimy leaves, maybe off camber and deep gravel. So that's gonna be our low traction. You've gotta make sure that when you're making a U-turn, you're not looking down at the ground. You should be turning your head all the way around and looking behind you where you wanna end up going. You want your body directly over the contact patch of the ground, so that way, if the bike's tilting in, you're tilting the other direction. So in a high traction environment, we get to carry a little extra speed into the U-turn. That allows us to roll the bike over onto the sidewall of the tire. That actually makes our U-turn much tighter than if we just do a full lock turn on the handlebars. What I'm gonna do is show you why rolling the bike over on the side makes such a difference. So what I'm doing is putting the tire right on the edge of this parking line we're playing with. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand the bike up. I'm gonna do a full lock, but I'm not gonna let the bike lean at all. And what this does is show me exactly how tight the radius is. So I'm gonna go put a marker down there and I'm gonna do this again, but I'm gonna let the bike lean over and see what the difference is. So this shows you exactly why rolling that bike over on the sidewall makes such a difference. Rolling the bike onto the sidewall is going to give you a tighter radius. The value of a high traction U-turn means that you get to carry enough speed so the bike will coast all the way through the U-turn because you wanna cut the power at the very last moment. So you're gonna pull the clutch in, apply the brakes, and turn the handlebars full lock and let the bike roll down onto the sidewall. As the bike rolls through the U-turn, it's gonna to continue to scrub speed till the point where it actually feels like it wants to fall over. That's the cue for you to add power back to the back wheel to stand the bike back up. You'll add a little throttle, so your slight over rev, so two, three, maybe 400 RPMs over that idle speed. So as you slip that clutch back in to get power, the bike will stand up and pull you out of the U-turn. Low traction environments mean the front end is a lot more likely to slip out from underneath you. So your approach on a low traction environment means you're gonna come in very, very slow, sometimes at a near stop or even at a stop where you're balanced just before you make your turn. When you make the turn, you're gonna turn the handlebars full lock. The bike may stay almost vertical or as it leans, it's much, much more important that you counterweight to the outside of the bike. That way it doesn't tip over, you have no momentum trying to keep the bike upright keep power to the back wheel. So you're gonna slip the clutch all the way through the turn. So your throttle will have a slight over rev, a few hundred RPM so you don't stall as you're powering through. It's okay to slip the clutch on these bikes. As you power all the way through the turn, keep those handlebars at full lock to the best of your ability. If you're in a, a truly low traction environment, and that front end starts to slip, you may have to let the handlebars slip out of that full lock position to regain balance and then steer back into a full lock. Once you get the bike pointed the direction you want to be going, then you just add power, the bike continues all the way out back into a straight line. So the real difference here is you've got to have much better balance point when you're doing a slow traction environment and you have to have very good control with that clutch and power. That way you push all the way through the turn. When you're learning or perfecting the low traction skills, 
for doing U-turns, I recommend using a high traction environment. It allows a little more room for making mistakes without any significant penalties, and you can really master the technique. So let me summarize this. In a high traction U-turn, brake late. Pull in the clutch and turn lock and lean to turn all the way through the turn. The very end, power to arrest the fall and ride out of the U-turn. In a low traction U-turn, approach very slowly. Turn the handlebars to full lock as you counterweight and slip the clutch all the way through the U-turn and then power out through the exit. U-turns are a really practical skill. They're fun and they look good. Slide into a parking lot, take a couple parking spots, practice them. It's truly a skill worth perfecting.